Hello friends, it's Sasha. Welcome to a new video. We are in sort of a new situation. I'm in a chair. You can see different parts of my bookshelf. Today, I'm going to try and see if we can do sort of an album review while I do my makeup. We'll see how it works out. Um, I'm mostly in a new position because I hurt my leg at the gym. <laughs> I had all good intentions, but um, yes, so while my leg is recovering, I'm probably going to have to do videos in a new way, and this was the first day that I was able to actually do stuff. So today, I want to try and listen to the first ATs album that I could find on Spotify, and that's Treasure Episode 1, All to Zero. Um, I'm really hoping that this doesn't get blocked because it is on Spotify. Pretty much anyone with an account can listen to this music and I am going to talk about each song after, which then makes my work transformative and not just me playing a whole album for you guys to listen to. And I'm also going to be talking about my makeup. So it's like a little bit of everything. Here is my marble cup full of coffee to like perk me up and get my personality going because my personality mostly is coffee. I had envisioned doing like a yellow eyeshadow look and then I realized the only yellow eyeshadow I have is all glitter. It's a yellow glitter. So I don't think that's going to work but we'll see what I want to do as we get into it. I feel very weird once again because this is not my normal makeup situation, but you know, we're just going to go for it. We're going to see what happens. Uh, so here's the first song while I take off my glasses. I'm going to start with my primer, then my foundation and my concealer and just all the things. So here we go. <laughs> I also don't know if I'm in frame or not. Hopefully I am. We'll see. It can be different to every individual. Oh, that's a lot. Is it Hongjun? Because as far as I know, he's the only one who knows English in the group. Or maybe it was just someone else. Um, but I definitely got like the journey vibe, the pirate vibe, the adventure, the dun 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 dun, -dun, -dun is very close to Pirates of the Caribbean. I see where we're going. I see where we're going, and it's very exciting. That's a very good opener for their first album ever. Cool. Okay, next song is Pirate King. Ah, what a bop. Here we go. Come on, come on. Get ready, sir. Oh, 
one, two, three, and one, two, three, let's go. know how I feel about Pirate King. I cannot get over the fact that a song that good was their debut song. Like, how is that possible? I think it really sets up the whole vibe of them as a group and also of their debut album. Um, it's just so good. If you weren't interested with their intro, there's no way you could hear Pirate King and be like, I don't think I'm going to listen to the rest of this. You know what I mean? So, next is Treasure, their second debut song, and here we go. Moving on to Bronzer, Highlighter, and then I don't know what's next, but stuff after that, so. Yeah, I'm 
Oh man, so the intro is telling you what's going to happen to you. Pirate King is telling you who ATs is, and Treasure is like you guys setting off on your first adventure together. It just, it flows so well. It's so emotional. It's so, it's so different from Pirate King in so many ways, or Pirate King is like the song you play when you need to get hyped up before an event, or like your playlist before you go to the gym. It's like your let's go song. And then Treasure is the song when you're there, when you're in the adventure, when you're reminiscing about good times you've had. It's just, it hits me in the feels, and it's so good and melodic and just, ugh. Ah, uh, the harmonies in it, it's, it's so good. It's too good, it's too good. Next song is Twilight. I don't think I've heard this, so that will be fun. Um, I'm moving on, highlighter, eyes, eyeshadow will be next-ish. <laughs> voices well enough yet. Oh my gosh. What a sound this has. I love that flute. Sorry, I'm distracted. This is done. This is done. This is done. Twilight. If I could do it light enough, that would be pretty. What do we think? To match the purple? I'm gonna try and do it really light though.
a little crazy, but we're going with it. Okay, I'm back. Some issues were happening. Um, I finished my purple eyeshadow. It's kind of a lot. I'm not thrilled with it, but you know what? It's what we're going with today. Also, my arm looks crazy. Um, so we just listened to Twilight. The vibe I get when I listen to Twilight is as if, and this has never happened, so I'm taking this experience strictly from books I have read or shows or movies I've watched, but it feels like I'm on the deck of a ship and I'm just looking out over like the flat sea and looking up at all of the stars and just like thinking of someone that maybe, I don't know, I have a crush on or like a friend I miss. And it's just, it's that nostalgic, reminiscing, thinking of your future, thinking of your past, and it's just everything is calm. No one's running around, no one's rushing anywhere, you don't have anywhere to be. You're just here, in present with yourself, present with nature, and like that is the vibe I get from Twilight. I also so vividly when I listen to this hear steel drums. And I would have died. <laughs> I would have died if they had used steel drums in this song. The airy flute sound that they used was just enough to take me to like a small island feel. Oh my gosh, steel drums just would have sold this for me. That's a really nice song. I it's we're I love this album so far because we are going on a journey. <laughs> So we have two songs left. We have Stay and My Way. So let's listen to Stay for the eyeshadow since I'm doing two things at once here. I think I'm going to do, because my shirt has some blue in it, I don't know how much you guys can see. I think I'm going to do blue maybe in this corner and then yellow in the middle and outer corner. I don't know. I'm just being crazy. I'm matching my shirt and being crazy and listening to 80s. So let's listen to Stay while I try not to mess up my makeup and here we go. I think I've heard this. I think. Oh, that's so pretty.
is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. That's what we're working with, though. Okay. I like that song. That's such a bop. I don't know what vibe it gives me, though, in terms of, like, my story that I was creating in my head. That's a song for, like, a stressful day. You have just been pushing yourself, other people have been pushing you, you need to release and you need to feel better and this song comes on and all you can do is just like bop around to it and it, you just instantly feel better. Like no matter what is happening, if this song comes on and you hear it, you're like, yeah okay, things aren't as bad as I thought. Man, it's just such, their songs are such a vibe and that's I, I don't know how like better or how else to describe them. Yeah, I don't know. I I just really like that one. Not a great description. Uh, I always watch my videos back and whenever I'm tongue-tied or at a loss for words when recording, as soon as I'm editing the video, I know exactly what I should have said in the moment. And it's the most frustrating part about doing these videos. And I try and give myself some credit because I've only been doing this, I think since December and it's now February. So I'm still figuring it out. Um, I'm still learning how to talk to a camera and how to think while recording. Um, so I'm sorry if some of the things that I say or some of the explanations that I have in the moment aren't super fleshed out or super eloquent or exactly what I want to say. I am working on it. I know that it's something I can improve on. Um, but we're gonna do, we still have eyeliner, mascara, brows, and lips left. We have one song to go. The last song is My Way. And let's just see how much I can get done in one song. So here we go. I have a hair in my eye. I got it. Okay. I really hate this. I hate it. <laughs> oh my god. Does it look any better with my glasses on? No, probably not. Actually, it does. Let's just keep going.
Okay. That song was a good finale song. The only thing I can sort of attribute it to or the only story I have is like at the end of a dance recital, there's always one song that is played. Um, it's mostly different every year. Sometimes if we had a production number, and a production number means if you're in a dance company, all levels in the dance company do one number together. And that is called a production number. And it's your whole company um, doing the same dance. Typically the seniors will start and then it goes down from there. Seniors, apprentice, junior, blah, 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 minis, and toddlers at the end. And then the very last part of the production number will be the entire company. So like 100 to 200 dancers on stage. It's insane. I got chills every time we used to perform it. But you would either play the production company song as your like bow song at the end of the recital or just a different um, like celebratory closing song that fit with your theme. I could totally see this song being a company's closing recital song because it's such a good send off. It feels like you're closing one chapter and going into a new one without any of the anxieties or depression that can come with those like big life changes like that. And it just sounds like you're excited for what's coming next, but you're also thankful for what came before. I really wonder if I like, I'm the type of person and you can sort of tell with my bookshelf, I just love creating stories in my mind about things. And a lot of times, no one else, <laughs> like I can look at something or see something or hear something and create a whole story and everyone is like, where, where did that come from? And I'm just like, I don't know, my brain, man. And so I'm very curious if any of this resonates with any of you guys, if you feel the same way, um, I would love to know. So I'm going to quickly just replay the album while I uh, finish my makeup. We have mascara and lips last, and I'll come say my final thoughts at the end. <laughs> okay, lips and then I'm done. Great, I'm ready to be done. We can have to raise our lips. I love this song! Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me for the first and hopefully what will be a new series on my channel. Get ready with me while I listen and review an album for the very first time. If it doesn't get blocked, we're gonna keep doing this through all of the 80s albums and then I want to go through The Boys, I'll do Stray Kids, I'll maybe do BTS. That's a little more daunting because holy crap, BTS is just so much. Overall, this is a crazy first album for a group to put out. I'm so impressed <laughs> with these eight boys, their talent, their skill. I'm even more impressed though, I keep saying this, with their staff and the people who are getting them out there, are getting them their start. To start them in the American market, taking those dance classes and having the KQ Fellas series, like, it's just... They're doing this the right way. They are doing everything right to make it big and to become one of the next biggest K-pop groups we know of. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this series down below. What should I do differently? What should I do better? Just any of your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please be kind, but I'm also really curious to know what you guys thought because I like making things that you like to see and while I struggled with this look today, I think it's not as terrible as I thought. <laughs> so that's a plus. Alright guys, I'm gonna go film some more videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!